I'm Harley. Tonight, Harley Sleepy Time Sentinel Selection, I am watching Split. Split is the latest um, M. Night Shyamalan movie. It stars James McAvoy, who also plays uh, Professor X in the recent X-Men trilogy. By the way, if you want me to do reviews on that, I do have a crap ton of X-Men movies. Um, so let me know in the comments how you feel about that. But getting to this movie... Split stars James McAvoy, and I don't even know which character to start with. He is so versatile in this movie. He does a fantastic job of playing um, offhand uh, like eight different personalities. There are 24 total in the movie, um, but there are like a, a few main ones that he comes back to over and over again. And he does a fantastic job of portraying those um, personalities. Now... The thing with this um, is that he has a psychiatrist that is working with him to try to, um, you know, assimilate him into life, basically, to make sure that he can have a job and have a home and and have a, a somewhat normal life, even though he has um, DID, dissociative identity disorder. Um, so also throughout this, the psychiatrist um, surmises that People with DID may, in fact, um, be somewhat more than human, uh, just that they've unlocked different parts of their brain. Um, they can have personalities that have uh, diabetes, for example, while the rest of the personalities don't. Um, they have different biochemistries. The, the personalities have different biochemistries. They'll have different brain scans. It's really actually pretty fascinating. Um, and so she's delving into that aspect of it while he's trying to work out a way to um, survive in life and have a real life. Um, now with this, so I'm going to try not to give too much away because, I mean, it's, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. I don't want to give away the whole plot, obviously. It's worth the watch. I honestly have not had an M. Night Shyamalan movie that I didn't um, enjoy watching. Some definitely are better than others. I will give you that. Not all of them are for everyone. But I will say that I've, I've always enjoyed watching them. So I don't want to give it away. Um, but in this, um, two of his personalities are somewhat nefarious. They are not the best of characters. Um, and they go about kidnapping three young women who um, are being held hostage. And these three young women are struggling for their freedom to survive. Um, all the while, one of the, um, the personalities, Dennis, um, Dennis is uh, warning that the beast is coming and the beast is planning on eating them. So that's pretty terrifying, right? <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to be eaten. Eek. And uh, what does that mean exactly? I mean, are they going to be, like, barbecued or just, you know, like, cut off piece by piece? I mean, there's there's a lot that can go into that. And I think your your own fears are what make that so scary because it, there's a very it's a very broad statement. Um, if it was uh, more eaten like a cow, like, just, you know, slit my throat, put me out of my misery, and then go to town on whatever remains, that's one thing. If you're just going to, you know, eat me while I'm alive, kind of like a wild dog, that's something else. So um, their fears play on on their own psyche and uh, make them a little panicky, obviously. Um, so this story follows their struggle to survive, his struggle to somehow have a normal life, and his psychiatrist's struggle to um, make his uh, disorder more well-known. Because... Honestly, there's still a lot of controversy around whether or not DID is a real thing. Um, being a mom never stops. <laughs> All right, so um, where was I? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of controversy around whether DID is a real thing. Is it um, a real uh, disorder? Is it a real split of the mind? Um, is it just... Some people are very, very good actors. And I think um, I think there's a lot still to be learned. We still have a lot of our brain that is untapped, that uh, we do not understand what it does and how it works. 
And now that we have MRIs and ECGs and all of these other things, there's a lot more that gives us a bigger understanding, but there's still a long way to go. And this explores some of that. So I hope you give it a go. I hope you leave me some comments so we can talk about it and uh, have a discussion. Let me know what you think. Are you an M. Night Shyamalan fan or not so much? Do you find all of his movies entertaining or do you think that there's some that uh, maybe he should have not done? <laughs> there's one that I'm thinking of in particular that I think a lot of people um, didn't like. One needs something and then the other does. Never fails. I have no idea what I was talking about. I think MRIs, uh, studying the brain trying to unlock its potential. Yeah, I don't know. It's gone now. I hope you give it, oh, we, I know what it was. What movies of M. Night don't you like? Because there, he's done a lot now. And, and The Sixth Sense, I think we can all agree, that one was amazing. It shocked everyone. Nobody saw the ending coming. Um, Unbreakable was good. I just did a thing about that. If you didn't watch it, go check it out, obviously. The end of this movie ties into Unbreakable, so you have to watch all the way to the end. Um, through the beginning of the end credits, at least, so you can get the, the whole effect of the movie. Um, the, the one movie I'm thinking of, I can't remember the name of it now, but there's one that not many people liked, so we can discuss that. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends to subscribe. I gotta go do my mommy thing. I hope you all have a good night.